Uncle Fuck Patrick with Rogers. It's Big Luna and me, Janine. Talking to the moon. We are in the bright sun. We are headed towards the Albert Dock. Uh, Liverpool's very famous waterfront because that's where the Tate Liverpool is situated. Luna, what is this? It's been a long time since I've actually seen it fully. So you can see behind us that it's the Lucian Freud. Lucian Freud, um, he's dead now. He was Sigmund Freud's grandson and he is apparently uh, the UK's greatest portrait painter, painter he was a very complicated man um, he died in 2011 at 89 oh, and he spent 60 years painting every single day every he had morning sessions and afternoon sessions his he had, he had 14 acknowledged children um, he was a womanizer some people describe him as a misogynist uh, some people Think that he didn't really love women um some people think that he was actually a gay man and that he was involved in some triangles with some other well-known male artists um i don't know how i feel about him to be honest i feel dead sad that his children and his friends and family only really got to know him and build a relationship with him through sitting for his art work um i think saying all of this though it does make me want to go and see it closer. See, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go see this complicated, complex man's way. So I think we're on the ground floor, family room, and we're going up to the second floor because we're going to see this first. So we've just got our tickets. Um, the Tate Liverpool is not part of the Liverpool Museums group. Luna is free, so children under 17 are free which is not the same as Liverpool groups, uh, Liverpool museum groups. And my concessionary rate was nine pounds. Keep watching after the Lucian Freud exhibition because the free exhibitions in the Tate were really, really, really cool. Something that one of his daughters said was that um, he wanted to paint truth and to paint truth you had to concentrate and not turn away. So I find that really interesting. I had watched some YouTube videos and read some articles about Lucian Freud which really helped me to understand uh, some of this exhibition. This was his first wife. You can actually see the difference in his early works compared to his later kind of work so it's it's not as um free with the brushes it's very kind of flat um but i love all of our little wisps she had such a sad sad life with them and two kids quite a lot of doggies in his work he probably loved doggies more than women I really like how, um, even though he was very private and didn't really do interviews, that so much is known about his subjects and 
the relationships that I had. It was, it was so honest. This woman, here, she was called Cecilia Paul, and she was one of Lucian's lovers, I guess. Um, I actually heard her talking on like an interview and she looked desperately, desperately sad as she spoke about him and the love affair that they had, which spanned like 10 years. She was actually pregnant with his child in this painting. Yeah. Yeah. When Luna was seeing some of the paintings online, you said that the later works looked like they were pixelated, didn't you? So it's really interesting to see them so close up and look at the layers um, and the thickness of the paint, really. It's crazy. This is Kai. Kai wasn't actually his biological son, but he did keep him and treat him as such. Well, as he did with other children anyway, as much as he possibly could with any of his children. Mm. A man and a dog. Whoa, that photo is so cool. <gasps> That's what the studio looked like when he was painting that one. <laughs> I like it when you get like a different set of perspectives. Luna's just told me that there's a room of nude paintings, as a lot of his art was, um, which was about truth-telling and the form of the body and shall we go and have a look? Yeah. Yeah, you should. I, um, I actually really like his nude work because I find them really real. What are you making of all these naked bodies? She looks uncomfortable. Like, I'm more concerned about, like, the position she's in rather than, like, her vulva, yeah. Obviously, a lot of his work is, um, it's in people's houses or it's in other galleries as well. So there's a... There is a, a painting. Uh, called the Benefit Supervisor, I think it's yes, called, the Benefit Supervisor. and um, it's sold for the most that a painting has ever sold from a artist oh. who was still alive. I, it's not in here. I'll see if I can get a picture of it. Picture right. of it and put it up. Now, how much do you think it sold for? I think it sold for. It was twenty-eight million. No, nearly though. Ooh. It was bought by. I can't remember the man's name, and it sold for thirty-three point nine million pounds. Wow, that's the most that painting has ever sold for by a living artist. He's obviously dead now, but it sold while he was alive. But it's an, I think it's fab. I love the realness of the the nudes. I do. I know this one says um, large head but um, this was someone that he painted quite regular and he was a huge man, really, really tall, really thick. Um, yeah, Lee Bowery, that's his name. And he painted him numerous times. You can see this one here. He liked to paint things that interested him and Lee Bowery really interested him. How we are tells us all about Lee Bowery here. Jansen. He was a little bit obsessed with Sue Tilly for a little while. He was obsessed with the shape and the curves of her body and painted her numerous times. I remember her saying 
or something like sometimes she'd go there really ready to talk and then he'd want to be really quiet and wouldn't speak and then other times she'd go feeling quite hungover and ready for sleep and he'd want to natter 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 away so we're still kind of talking about what we think about it aren't we and the man's i just we just asked the man what he thought about it the security man and he said yeah he said he likes the work but doesn't like him and actually there are very few likable famous artists what are you doing with my glasses <laughs> you're thinking about this exhibition it's really cool do you like it yeah Oh, yeah. If you have a chance to come to Liverpool, if you don't live here, and if you do live in Liverpool, I would mm. really suggest coming down. What do you make of him? Complicated man, mm. but he's very skilled at most of this. Yeah, I think there's. I admire the dedication of morning and night paintings over 60 years. Like nothing matter more to him than painting. But it was at the exclusion of the humans and love and loyalty and trust in some ways. And do you know what? I know men like him. So yes, the exhibition of the complicated Lucius. Lucius? No. Lucian. Lucian, oh, Lucian Freud. Who is it, Luna? Lucian. Louise Bourgeois. Louise Bourgeois. <laughs> this is a free exhibition. I can't forget the day we met, your eyes are blue, me pressing through. I can't forget the day we met, your smile so bright, it made me swoon. I love you like a summer's day. This isn't just any spider, this is a, a symbol of the artist's mum. So the artist's mum died when she was quite young. And this is the little story. Press pause and read this, it's really lovely. Luna, what do you think it looks like? A bowl and a bit with the face on it. <laughs> I can't forget the day we met You look so fly in your red corvette Your hair, your look, your everything When I see it all I knew that you were mine I'm in love with your hair, your lips Your silhouette in the moonlight shine With my love you won't ever be alone My summer love, been waiting for you, my love Didn't have to whisper You think it looks like painted with blood? Yeah, I do too. It says on the um, the little thing over there that these paintings uh, were paintings of a male and a female having intercourse and the pregnancies that were made through that and the series just, yeah. I'll show you the thing. And a use of red is symbolic. <laughs> Luna, guess what that's called? Without looking at that. No. Guess what this is called? You're gonna laugh. Style. No, it's called tits. <laughs> I'm not bleeping it. It is actually called tits and it is about it combining both masculine and feminine. So she is combining Oops, as I call them, with a phallus. <laughs> wow! So, like, all of these, like, red ones are the same, all of the blue ones are the same, all the yellow ones are the same. Um, it's about violence and something, but this one's lovely. Luna, can you help me find out what this is about, please? Fear is the most elegant weapon. Your hands are never messy. Wow. Getting a bit of a guided tour at the moment, which is just gorgeous. <laughs> Was it really? Yeah. What do you think of that? 
<laughs> All skills should be art skills. Well, art school is an art school, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Just tell me what they are. Thank you so much. What are the placards? Placards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They were used in a protest, weren't they? That's so cool. And they were by Rob and Roberta Smith. So cool. I really like this. So this is Zoe Leonard. And it's I Want a President. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, I'm going to really, really zoom. And I'll please pause this because this I just read this and it actually made me cry. I didn't even notice the dangle and carrot until you've just told me that there's a dangle and carrot. So I think it's maybe like a metaphor for the dangle and carrot. Carrot piece. Where do you want to go on that staircase? Done in John house. It does, so you want to go to Scotland, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, I want to go to Mexico, innit? <laughs> well, I don't want to be on the, <laughs> the animals are getting back at the humans. And I'm a child of details. Whoa. Luna, I'll give you a tenner if you can guess who painted that. No. Who? Pablo Piscidard. It's Pablo Piscidard. Piscidard, have a clue. How do you know? How do you know it's Pablo someone? Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobo. Oh, Pablo Picasso. <laughs> Pablo please. Picasso. Can I have you pay please? Pay maybe. I'll spend it in Morphe. Have you ever seen an original Picasso? Never. It's cool, isn't That's it? That's a Picasso. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I am loving this style of, like, this cartoony type background, but then this real intricate fine art in the middle. I love that. I think that's my favourite Luna. Same. Let's see what's this way. Squiggle. No, it's not really called Squiggle. It's called the Great Carnival. I think this one's called Sparkly Engine. Oh my God, so I've just turned around and seen. <sighs> so Salvador Dali is probably one of my favorite artists, just on the basis of everything's weird and unusual and makes you think. And, you know, he was obviously very prominent in the surrealist genre, which I really, really love. And this is called Mountain Lake. I did not know that there was a Dali in here. You know the man with the twirly moustache? Oh, yeah. We just found this space. This is like the family room. That is so cool. It's a green screen, Luna. I don't know. Oh, wow, look. Oh, bean bags. Over there. Oh, and look at the view. Wow. Well, I am a little bit in love with the Tate Gallery. It was really, really nice. There's so much to see and talk about. Yeah. And explore. And what was that man's name? There was. Yeah, a man that worked there called Ed and he was explaining so many paintings and giving you extra thoughts and oh, it was just lovely. It made the experience really, really real. So definitely, definitely recommend coming down to the Tate at Liverpool. And look where we are. It's gorgeous here. I want to come back next week.
We'll come back next week. Me. <laughs> so, sending out loads and loads of love as always. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button, press the notification bell, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. So, that's it. Stay awesome, stay wild, love yourself, don't let anyone change you. Bye, Magic Middle Dress! Talking to